All right, man. Now we're ready. All right. I'm sure you can hear our friends, the 17 year cicadas in the background, but uh, they're gonna be our soundtrack for today. At any rate, this is poison hemlock. And uh, it's a very toxic plant. All parts of this plant are deadly. Uh, even as I understand that the dead canes up to three years after they're dead but it's pretty easy to identify um, and I took a lot of heat for not wearing gloves uh, last time it can cause contact dermatitis and pretty bad if you're sensitive to it I think it's people get a little panicky over it if it was a real big issue there'd be a lot of messed up farmers out there because I'm sure a lot of people pull this and without ever knowing what it is. But I digress. Anyway, be safe. Wear gloves. You can see the bloom. Now, it people say it looks a lot like Queen Anne's lace. And it does. But your major difference, this is much taller. You know, commonly 8 feet and more, up to 12. Um, and the big thing is it blooms at a different time. This is early June. And in Indiana, at any rate, Queen Anne's lace is still quite a ways off. That's one big difference. And this stem, as you can see, is hairless. And I don't know if you can make out those purple, purplish blotches. But that is a dead giveaway. And uh, if it has that, it's hemlock. The leaves are really delicate affairs, very ferny. Now water hemlock, which is similar in every, virtually every other respect, has, has quite different leaf. But uh, if I remember correctly, and if I'm wrong, I'll note it in uh, some subtitles or whatnot, captions, that uh, it's different. But I believe it has the purple splotches as well. That's the dead giveaway, is this hairless stem and the purple splotches. As you can see, it is quite large. I mean, you can see it behind me here. It is commonly found in roadsides and ditches. We're just a little off the road here, but. Here's some shorter plants. The blooms are closer together, a little bit more distinctive looking. Sometimes the tall ones are a little less, um, they stand out a little less. And it does have a little bit of a smell. Um, uh, it, to me it smells like, uh, this is going to sound weird, but the, uh, the bait they use on glue traps. That's what I'm smelling. purplish stems this is the time of year to spot it by the very distinctive blooms and you can get a little closer once again carefully and then do whatever you need to do to get rid of it uh, but you'd want to be careful you know cutting it down or whatever don't touch your eyes and such as that common sense but at any rate um, it's one of the deadliest plants ever. They used to use it to execute people in the old world. This is the plant that killed Socrates, as a matter of fact. It can uh, harm cattle and stuff if it gets uh, bound up in the hay, things like that. Don't forget to wear your protection, and please subscribe.